Hey YouTube, welcome back. My name is Richard and I have an opinion piece I wanted to put out here. Um, this quick disclaimer, I did film this actually like four weeks ago and had to redo it because I deleted it by accident. Uh, but in the time since I filmed it and we're doing this uh, new session here, uh, Breath of the Wild has come out, so that will affect some of the things I'm about to say here. So, on with that. I've recently finished uh, The Wind Waker. Uh, HD on my Wii U, and I have to say I'm disappointed with that game. I don't think that was, uh, I don't think it represents the hype that it, uh, that it deserves. It felt really just kind of padded. Even the Wii U version, which I know took away a lot of that padding and brought it down to not as much of the Triforce quest that you have to go into uh, later on in the game, it still felt just like a... It didn't feel like an adventure. It felt like a fetch quest. Over. 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 And that was not fun. And the story was good. It's better than some of the other uh, Zelda games have been. But I don't feel like it deserves what it... Uh, deserves the, the recognition and the praise that it gets. It's a good game, don't get me wrong, but its I just don't think it, it had the, a, a deep story that kind of got me into it and going, oh my god, I gotta find out what happened next. I spent a good probably five months between play sessions at one point because I just didn't care. I couldn't i couldn't get back into it. When I picked it up again, I was had to look up some YouTube stuff to find out just what the hell was going on again because it just wasn't holding my attention. And with Zelda games, I don't usually put them down for very long. It's usually one of those, I will play the, the hell out of these games. And just, you, yeah, I can't, I can't not stop. Um, that said, I think Wind Waker is not the game it needs to be as far as uh, uh, praiseworthy. I feel like the game that doesn't get the praise it deserves, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword, yeah, the motion controls is a pain in the ass. I, I, I acknowledge that, but you know what? If you can get past that that little thing, which, honestly, if you can't get past it, I don't think you're trying hard enough, because, honestly, that game actually has decent motion controls. I'm not going to say good motion controls, because nothing on the Wii actually ended up having good motion controls. That was probably the, the closest we're going to get with that Wii Motion Plus adaptation. But I think this game, I think Skyward Sword delivers a better story in that I feel something for those characters. I feel something for the for Fee and for Zelda and for Bruce. By the end of that game, I cry. I feel bad for the end, the resolution of the game. I feel bad for how everything goes. I feel good for how everything goes. I actually have invested myself in these characters. When I played Skyward Sword, I couldn't put it down. I literally played it from beginning to end, probably in the course of maybe two, three weeks. I had to work at the time, but I, I just couldn't put it down. And I couldn't stop playing it. It was so good. And I just kept coming back for more of those characters, more of that world. I loved the way they did that. And what's funny is I kind of see what they did with the next installment, kind of, you know, in Skyward Sword. And... I love that. I think it's a great game because of that. I think it actually holds up better than a lot of people give it credit for. I kind of hope they do a, a, a re-release of this one to kind of give people uh, a, an experience with it again. Maybe minus the motion control so they can actually experience it with a little less trepidation. But it's such a good game and I don't think it gets the credit it deserves. And I feel like in the Pantheon, I would rate Skyward Sword a lot higher than I would rate Wind Waker. I mean... Wind Waker just, the characters were fun, but just not involving. Like, it starts off really strong. I love the, the involvement with Link and his grandmother. I think it's a very strong connection. Link and his sister, you have to go off and rescue the sister. That's a great change from having to go rescue Zelda all the friggin' time. And it's, I'm really glad they didn't, like, reveal that the sister was also Zelda or something, you know, something like that. There's another, there's another reveal that happens later on in the game that I won't spoil, but is really good, too. But it just... 
didn't feel I didn't feel invested in those characters. I couldn't it just didn't hold my attention. I don't think it was the art style, I think the art style works out just fine. In fact the HD version makes that even better because it's such a cartoony graphics, it doesn't actually devolve as it gets older, it stays pretty strong. Whereas something like Scarlet Sword visually did age pretty poorly and I'm hoping they do a better update to that one but I think it's still a stronger game story-wise and gameplay-wise I think I feel more involved with Skyward Sword than I ever did with Wind Waker so that said like I said at the beginning of the top of the video uh, Breath of the Wild has come out since I filmed my first version and I couldn't put this one down either I played the hell out of this game um, and beat it relatively quickly uh, to the point where I'm at 25% completion as of this filming and I'm just loving the ever living loving the ever living hell out of this thing. I love it to death. I think this game holds up so well. And yeah, I bought the Wii U version because I'm not I don't feel the need to buy a Switch yet. I don't think Breath of the Wild is enough of uh, a game to get me to buy a whole new system. Uh, I think the Switch needs to have a few more games in the near future for me to actually say, yeah, I'm going to get that system right now, but right now there's just not enough on the horizon to make that system worth it. Whereas my Wii U, I still have a good long life left, I think, with it, so we'll keep going that way. That said, I still think Wind Waker just doesn't deserve the praise it gets. Now, I, this is my opinion, and I'm, I want to hear others' opinions. Why does Wind Waker hold up to you. Does Wind Waker really trump Skyward Sword? Give me a reason why. I, just, I, I get invested with these characters. I like these characters. And I, not a popular opinion, I like Fee. I think actually Fee's a stronger character than people give her credit for. I think Fee actually ends up being someone I care about by the end of the game. There's a line of dialogue that just gets me every time and I just have a hard time not well enough just a little bit every time I hear it. And those of you who played it who actually do like the game, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I think you need to give Skyward Sword a second chance. And I will give I'll give Wind Waker another chance, but I just don't think it's worthy of the praise it gets. Now again, I'd like to hear from you guys. What do you think of this of this game? Does it really deserve all the praise it gets? I definitely think this game deserves praise, just not to the degree that it gets. Now, I would love to hear from you guys, so let me know in the comments below what you really think of this game, why it deserves what it does, and I want to hear some Skyward Sword love. I would love to hear some people just defend it. I think it's a good game. I know people out there like this game too. I'd love to have you guys sound off, and tell me exactly why Skyward Sword is so bad. Motion controls aside, yeah, motion controls suck, but if you can get past them, it is a decent game. Again, if they re-release this without motion controls, a lot of people will give this game a second look, and actually, if you give this game a second look, you will not be disappointed. I guarantee it. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go 100% this game.